So good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. I just got my third and final COVID booster. Yay! <laughs> we got one baby plane over here and another plane with our Halloween McNuggets comment below if you remember these babies if you watched yesterday's vlog <laughs> I think I said this yesterday sleep was not good for us um, but we're hanging in there and I don't know if Peter actually started the vlog or not but with Teddy, we're still figuring out transfer swaddle situation. James E is having trouble falling asleep. Um, there is a two year sleep regression and there's a four month sleep regression, which Teddy is four months old today. So we might just be going through those things at the same time. Um, so yeah, we, P James got his final COVID shot this morning. It went well. Um, and I think tonight we're gonna go downtown because it's the few days out of the year where the sun like perfectly in lines like within the buildings, like east to west, and it looks really cool. So I think that is what we're going to do today. Ooh, the air is crisp on this first day of fall. Not too many trees changing colors just yet, but oh my gosh, it's so lovely. It's like 65 out, so lovely. Anywho, I'm having just like stroller nap thoughts. And I bought this clip for my phone. I don't know if you can see it or not. Basically, I'm losing hair like crazy. Way more than I did postpartum with James. And I'm thinking like, I do wear my hair up a lot more. So I'm hopeful that like, this clip will be easier on my hair. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, could you please leave them in the comments or message me? I'm like still taking my prenatal vitamin. This might just have to happen, but maybe it, maybe there's some relief somewhere because my hair, one is just like, like it helps that I'm like my hair so light because like I'm my my hairline is like totally receding, but it's just everywhere in our house. So I got this clip to hopefully help. Um, but if there's any other suggestions, please let me. Both babies are sleeping. So I'm gonna make us dinner because if we're headed out of the house right when Peter's done with work, I either gotta be ready to eat or have to have dinner ready to come with us. So I'm doing a one pot pasta situation. I've done it in the past, but I'm gonna try something different this time. I put in, I think it's like four cups of organic veggie broth and then here's some organic um, linguine pasta and the pasta's gonna cook right in with everything else. Next, I threw in a whole yellow onion and then a half container of white mushrooms. Alrighty, we're, we're starting to boil. I put a full green pepper in there. I think I'm gonna do a tomato. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tomato too. Full tomato in, a good heap of minced garlic. Just added in some ginger paste, some salt. I do some pepper and then I just topped it off with some soy sauce and some lime juice um I'm gonna let this cook see how it tastes and then add something to it later on maybe some crushed red pepper I don't know maybe smunk it up in other ways maybe some sriracha maybe I'll just have anyone do sriracha if they want it so it's not just like totally spicy um but this is more of like a a citrus ginger take on the one pot pasta. So yeah, I'll let you know what else I add. I did forget to say mix it up and add a little bit of oil. Oh, that's the last of my oil. I've actually, I've actually been looking into making my own veggie broth, like just with like our veggie scraps. Um, 
I think that could be cool. I use enough veggies. And I use veggie broth enough. Alrighty, the veggies and the noodles are all cooked. I did have um, a problem with some sticking to the bottom, so I added a lot of water. I just needed more liquid. So I'm gonna spunk it up now after I taste it. Alrighty, I added a decent amount of chili powder, some basil, some chives, some garlic powder, some ginger powder, some onion powder, and then some red pepper flakes. I'm gonna stir that all up, add in some soy sauce and a little bit more lime juice. And then I'm just gonna turn off the heat and let it sit. And after that, I added a little bit more soy sauce and more chili powder, because that was the flavor I was vibing on. Um, I'll also probably top it with like everything bagel seasoning once I like plate them up. But now this is fine, I'm just gonna cover it. And I, what I mean by like let it sit is just like, it's gonna stay hot in the Dutch oven. Um, so it'll just be ready for us whenever, whenever we want dinner. And if I didn't mention before to turn off the heat, like once everything is cooked through, you just don't want the noodles to get soggy, um, but you want it to cook enough so that everything, like all of the veggies are nice and tender. The kids woke up from a, a late afternoon nap. I think he just got shy because I pulled my phone out. Ooh, James is in his relaxing pillow, right? James, do you have enough books around you? <laughs> James, he gave his little brother a kiss while I was changing his diaper and it was super sweet. Oh, I think he just spotted the candy corn that we were hiding from him. Teddy, I just got the notification. Our Yeti order just arrived. How exciting is that? We have Bluey on while we get ready to go. It's a big kid. It's a super big kid. So this Yeti delivery is an absolute example of internet swindling. I actually went on there the other day to see how much um, like one of their cooler bags were. The Earhearts have one and I loved it. So I um, wanna go see. And I was like, I don't know. I was just like, you know, daydreaming about it. And when I went on the website, they were like, hey, these 10 ounce lowball containers that um, I got one when we were in Florida and I love it, are gonna be no longer sold. So they're like 40% off. So I was like, Sarah, we should get one for you. Well, then it was like, hey, you're not far off of getting free shipping if you spend more money. So I was like, great. Let's get one for Sarah. Then I was like, they're nice. And you know, I like to use them. They're really nice, like good to use, like insulated, but they're also great for coffee, for hot, for cold. So we got a second one. Cause what, oh, well, if we have friends over. So now we've got three of these. One for me, Sarah, and a third party. And then we just were under, bless you. We were just under the free shipping. So we picked up one of these uh, Yeti Rambler Colster can insulators. So then you kind of open this up. And a can. I don't know what this is. This is a cute, just an empty Yeti can as an example. Goes in there and it just, it's like if you have a Pepsi or a beer and you keep it in the can, it just stays in and then it's insulated and cold. Internet swindle. Big kid Teddy alert, okay? Where are we going? Down, down. We gotta go. Down, We're down. on a race against the sun. Let's do it. So the reason we're downtown, like I said, is for Chicago Henge, is what they call it. So you'll see photographers setting up right there. It is when the sun sets perfectly between the buildings. So I'm excited. It's a clear night. It's gorgeous. 
I think it's gonna be cool. We've never done this before. No, but I'm really excited about the food first. Yeah. So the reason this happens is because of the fall equinox. So it was yesterday, today, and tomorrow where you'll be able to see the sun perfectly, perfectly through the buildings. Um, so that's really cool. And the sun sets at 6.47, so we have a little bit of time, like an hour. A little over an hour left. Yeah. You can see right now the sun is behind those clouds, so it'll go. You got your new shoes on and everything. You gotta keep your eyes open, silly. <laughs> he does this new thing where he runs. The shirt's a little big, but it's like comfy, right? Come on, there's a fountain there. Oh, crash. Try to trick James into going down this ramp behind the fountain and pop up right by it. Hand, please. Thank you. So much fun exploring Money and Park with my baby. <laughs> I mean, I tried getting close to the fountain, but he was just pumped about the grassy field. So fun finding old, new clothes for Teddy. <laughs> right? Right? You like your Mickey jacket? So I'm here beating Teddy and James and Peter are running around, but it's getting very crowded. So I don't know how great of a shot we will get. Um, hopefully at least we'll see it. And then I can like link like posts that I see on Instagram and such. Um, so you can get like a cooler look of it, but I highly doubt that our shot will be the most professional of the bunch. Also, this is a day where like, I really wish that we had our, our nice camera, um, but it's all right. It's all right. It's about experiencing it too, right? famous old building. This is exactly zero, zero city. Yes. It's like south. Yes. North, east, west. Yes. And uh, I think if you guys know any like Target affiliated YouTubers, no, they there's, should. There's going to be a Katie Finding meet and greet here later tonight. Oh, there is? Yeah. She's lying. That would be fun, but she's lying. Katie is not in the state of Illinois. <laughs> but yeah, if you know any uh, Target affiliated YouTube channels, maybe you should comment bomb them and say you should go check out the Brookhart's cool target. Actually, this doesn't even, I don't call this ours. Ours is the one in Wrigleyville. But this is a cool one. Yeah, it's in the old car. What are we doing here? Getting formula. Oh, that's right. All right, our downtown adventure is coming to an end. Yes. We're gonna drive a little bit out of the way to go past the Internet Continental Hotel. Oh, yeah. Because they always have a good display for Christmas, but they have big pumpkins on the front of it, yeah. which we've never it's seen like before. Main Street. Yeah. But Michigan Avenue. Look at how cute this little kid is with his Mickey oh. denim on. Yeah. He's as cute as can be. He got a little toy monster he's playing with. So he's content. And I think we're parked around the corner here somewhere. Look at this glorious view. So beautiful. The 
the eternal stare down between the Wrigley and the Tribune building. Love it, love it, love it. There it is, Pumpkin City. It was quick. It was there. Where's my ah? Time to go get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I saved you. I saved you. Oh no. Oh no. The bum. The bum. Go in there. <laughs> so, James, you figured out this toy that you should put him through. Good job. Through specific spots. He loves it, but it's frustrating. But he won't stop playing with it. But he doesn't like it. See? But he won't stop playing with it. He, he gets it pretty good. Good job! But it's also a source of sadness. Why are you so happy over there? We got some new Yeti merch today. I think I showed this. Did you? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, then I'll do a haul for Target. <laughs> Peter insisted I get this sweater. I did. It's gorgeous. It was only $25. It's a nice quality sweater for $25. <laughs> you ask me. See? Not so happy with that toy. We got our formula um, because we're going to start giving Teddy like one bottle day maybe it'll help with bedtime <laughs> and i got this little turkey from the dollar section it was actually three dollars but still does it get any cuter that was it smallest target haul ever three hours later i'm so tired <laughs> another bedtime struggle but i think we made progress today and we think we have new neighbors not those ones. That's a normal puppy upstairs. Yeah. It's good to be home. Wait, you think that's a puppy? No, I'm just, it's a dog. Oh, I thought it was a person. Wait. That's a dog for sure. <laughs> but I remember the last time people ran around on all four limbs. <laughs> we didn't do anything Christmassy today. Sing us a song. Noel, there was a kid named Noel somewhere today. I forgot where I was. So I like that name. Me too. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. If we have a Christmas baby one, one day, maybe we'll name them Noel. Today's born. I have a happiness. What? Oh, our baby was supposed to be born on Halloween, but he said Christmas. Okay. Good night. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>